Yo, dear! We don't need you anymore, man. We got a new mascot in town. You don't need this, and you definitely don't need that. You don't need that. Get out of here. Go. Leave me alone. You know, I don't quite know what happened to my eye here. It got kind of jacked up. I can still see. The hat's good. I can still build for now. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to Break Me Up, Scotty. I'm Scotty Hoy. You're watching Beamus. I'm actually pretty excited. The sets that you see in front of me are brand new. They're from Panlos. Haven't done a Panlos set in a while. And I'm like, yo, they made a bunch of Japanese themed sets and they are licensed. They're using the Japanese mascot known as Kumamon, the bear. I have definitely seen this bear all over the place, especially if you live out in Asia. And I'm sorry, I'm not familiar with him. And you know what? To be really honest, I couldn't care less about the bear. I just wanted more Japanese themed sets. I'm like, yo, these look absolutely amazing. So I had to build them right away and review them for you guys. This is just for you. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And there's like nine of these sets. It's crazy. They're all here in the office and I've taken some home and I'm building them in threes right now. So, you know, over the next few weeks, I'll be rolling these out. So we're gonna look at them in order of the box for once. I'm gonna go in order. So today we're gonna look at these three sets. Super cute, kawaii. And they're from Panlos, which they're now rebranding themselves for this specific set as in bricks. And these are the Kumamon series. The first one we're gonna look at is Kumamon's Hot Springs. Eight eight zero 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 nine. Doesn't really specify how many pieces. I don't know. Here is the box for this hot spring set. Very colorful, creative design. It's very nice and small too. And oh, I like it, man. When I saw the logo of the panels and in bricks, I was like, ha, ah, crazy. New rebranding. I like the color tone. It says here, hello, I am Kumamon. Kumamon. The backside looks like that, shows you all the features. There's not really any features, but still, it's a very nice presentation. I like this box and the design and style. More Kumamon, Kumamon, Kumamon. Oh no, that's just all the technical information and the size. Kumamon, don't stop Kumamon. By the end of the video, you should be like, Kumamon, cool, my man. The instructions is very thin, very small. And they actually do, thank goodness, have like a slight introduction on the guy. You'll want to run this through Google Translate, but it tells you all about Kumamon. Am I saying that right? Or is it Kumamon? And there's the copyright logo. Like, make sure it's legit. It's legit, man. That makes me excited. And the instructions are very easy to read. It's like panel style. No issues. Just tight clutch, man. For sure it does have a tight clutch. You're like, oh, boom, snap the pieces together. And here it is. Yes, totally reminds me of all the symbol block series. So that's why I was like pretty stoked. I'm pretty excited to get this. These are pretty quick to put together. And it's been a while, but now I kind of recognize the panels brick clutch is a little bit tight, but it means that it's super sturdy. So you can pick the whole thing up and be like, yeah, it's not gonna go anywhere. For this specific set, there are no stickers. Yay, you know, I, you know, I can do without stickers. They do have a background that comes with a set that you can actually take out and you can reverse it as well. My first impression after putting it all together, I was like, I, I, I can't wait to do the rest of these. I'm like genuinely really happy with these sets. I know for a fact since I run an online store, and by the way, these are available on my store, brickmeupscotty.com. If you can find them elsewhere, go for it. Suppliers and brands or the brands themselves are getting super strict who they want to sell to and where these can actually reach out to you, but we can get them for you, man. Ida can work her magic, so it's all good. But anyway, I know a lot of you are Japanese brick fans, like the style and the look, and you know, our symbol block one is still sells like crazy, man. So I'm so happy to see more of this. And look at that, it's just, this one looks amazing. So this one that you're seeing is a hot spring, and it was so much fun when I was done with it. It's just, I gotta do more, man. I gotta finish the rest of them. As simple as it looks here, it's got so many little things going on. And as for the mascot bear himself, I'm so glad they didn't do like figure style. He deserves to be looking like that. So it doesn't look like a figure. It looks like a mascot and I'm totally okay with that. It has a very nice animated look or cartoon look to him. He looks amazing sitting there. And oh, look at that. I'm, I'm just like, yeah, hey, that is so serene. If you don't want to use the bear, you can easily just remove him out of the way. And there's the set itself. The first thing your eye is probably going to catch is that little 
water pouring down from the top. That to me is like the most amazing thing about the set is just like, it looks like water going down there and it has a little splash down below. And those are all prints on those little tiles and the food tray that you see there. This looks like a really relaxing place. And yeah, you can just use your own minifigures and throw them in here. And actually I can take the ones from the symbol block. Where's my symbol block, boys? There, I put a regular symbol block figure for you to see. Looks totally okay. Scaling might be off for a couple of these sets, but that's fine with me. Now on this awning part where the water's coming out, I think it's pouring out of bamboo, but the construction of that and how it like hooks into a hinge and upside down into that awning was really refreshing, even for something so small. Who made this man? Genius. Oh, this place looks so serene. And I don't think I've seen these brick or these block elements before, these little rock formation pieces on the side. Those are actually pretty cool, man. It's got some bamboo on there, which is really neat. You can articulate one of them, it's on a ball joint, and a little bucket there to pour your hot water on yourself. And there's a couple of studs in the hot spring. That's where Kumamon chills and hangs out. If you want those printed pieces, you know what you gotta do. You gotta buy this set. And over here, you got a little lantern. Your simple pieces, but I like the look of it. There you go, you make your own. I'm sure you have the pieces for that too. Next to the hot spring, it's like a stone walkway and you got a sign there. And some of the printed pieces actually come connected together so you don't have to take them apart. I guess you do that so they won't lose the pieces or confuse you. Now on the side here, you got a little awning there, which was really simple to put together. And that's a sign to come into this hot spring, right? Kumamoto hot springs, I think that's what it translates to. Thank you, Google Translator. And then we start to look along the back. That is just gorgeous. Printed bricks there along the bottom of those windows. In front of these windows here, you got this like wooden stick. It looks like a tray or a table area or a little decoration piece. I don't know, the lantern hanging above it. I thought that was actually really nice looking. It gives it an oriental vibe for sure. You know, before you step into the hot spring, there's a pair of slippers there. And I like how they printed the little slippers. They look really good. And there's a bucket back there. It looks like it has some clothes in there. You take them off, throw them in there, jump in the hot springs naked. I don't know, but those printed tiles are really nice. One's like an outfit and one's a pattern piece. Maybe it's the, uh, you know, the part that goes around your waist. And in the very back, yes, they do have fabric pieces. The fabric pieces look nice, but you might not like them. And it's just like a flap They're going in and out. And behind that is the background. So it's cool how they implemented it. It doesn't fall over. It slides in, which is really good. But unfortunately, it's still a background, so it has a chance of being bent. And these came from the original boxes, so they had a little bit of flex there. But I like the artwork. It's like a couple chilling there, having their tea time. And the backside is like, I thought it was dinner time, man. Looks like they're having a pillow fight in the hot springs. Makes perfect sense. So you can switch them up. You probably can't really tell too much of a difference if you, unless you're like really looking at it. There's a nighttime one there. It's all mostly blocked off. If you don't use the background, and you can slide it either way, in and out, doesn't matter. You leave it open there. It's totally fine, man. You don't need that backdrop. But it's a nice feature. If I flip it to the back here, you can see it like goes into these, those pieces. What are they called? I don't know what those are called, man. So you slide it here, move the fabric, because it might catch on the fabric a little bit. There. See how easy that was? It's not in the way, it's not blocking. A lot of you might not even prefer that. And I like the pieces up here. Gives it a very oriental look. And even the awning on the side. It says hot springs and the rooftop parts, everything's, you know, it might pop off because they're just on a couple of studs, but hey man, it's holding in there pretty good. This thing just looks really good from like all angles. What a great hot spring set. I love it. Now let's look at Kumamon. He looks so cute. Now, if you were to put a standard figure next to him, just to compare for size, there you go. Much bigger and very different. You do have to, what was that? You do have to construct him and put him together, but very easy. I really like the size of him, but for this one, he's actually just sitting down. The third set, you'll see the standing up one, but he has a little towel on top of his head. Printing, everything looks really nice on him, even his backside there. So if you want me to dissect him, we just pull off his arms to see if I can do it without breaking it. And I'll probably end up breaking this thing, you know? There we go, pull this one out, like that. These like little Technic kind of hooks. Oh, I don't wanna break it though, man. I'm gonna break this guy. Okay, got the other arm out. Tight, but you can do it, you can get out. 
And it doesn't matter which way or which arm it goes on, it's all the same, which is easier for you to build. And then you take his butt off like that. Oh, there goes his feet. He can be reopened, but it's a little bit tight there. There we go. There, that's what he looks like all dissected. Now if I flip this underneath here, underneath his butt, you can put that on any kind of four stud square piece. You might want to raise it so that he can fit properly because he's quite large. So you just put the body parts together like that. This one first, there. Snap in the arm, doesn't matter which way they go. Very easy to put together, right? Oh yeah, one more thing too, his tail actually does separate. Show you that real quick. There. Gotta keep them separated. Nice butt. All right, just sitting there and chilling, put the towel back on his head there, and then we'll slide this back here. Then we can put him right back to where he belongs there so there you guys go kumamon and hot springs i absolutely love it i encourage you to get it if you can i'm just gonna sit here for a minute and look at it and admire it i have it i have it here yes one day i might have to give this up though but in the meantime i think it's gonna be here for a long time i love the look of this now it's time to look at the next one all right next up is kumamon the ramen shop 880010 and the back of the booklet actually has the part list so you know you can count it yourself here is the box same size same dealio very nice presentation this set actually does come with a figure interesting other than that it's all the same they just kind of throw all the pieces in there so the cardboard all that stuff it gets thrown in that's how they get bent they don't protect it on the inside there's like throw everything in here there's no inner boxes or anything like that but yeah same same deal same look we need to see this no more Book is exactly the same as the last one. And just to show you here. Yeah, part list. Go get your parts if you can't afford the set. So this is the ramen joint. It's a little bit simple, but there's still a lot of little details. And I was totally reminded, like, deeply. It reminds me of, like, the Naruto, the Conan, the vibe, the feeling. Very well thought out. And even though it's small, it's still a lot of fun to put this together. So here's Kumamon. It's the same Kumamon as the other one. So I'm gonna just move him out of the way, take him off the stool. You can see he's sitting on the stool with a stuck to the stud of this piece. We don't need to see him anymore. He's exactly the same, is he? Yes. Same expression and everything. And by the way, his mouthpiece is actually separate, but when you open it from the box, it's already pushed in there. But apparently you can take the mouth part off, which I haven't done. And there's the figure on the back side. I'll take him out first too, so you can see what the set looks like without him. And he did look a little small there, so the scale problem again. It was all tiled on the front there. Color's more simple on this one. What's really interesting is the two stools on the front have two options. So you can use two seats that are studded out like this one, or you can use two smooth ones so the figures will fall off. That's cool, they included like two different types, so it's up to you which one you want to use. Very clean looking. There are a lot of flaps though, however, you'll want to use them because it's more, you know, it looks like a Japanese place without the flaps it probably look a little bit plain but you could use them without them and of course just like the other one the side here is kind of like the front it does have a sliding door it's like yeah oh, that's cool so small yet they put that in there it does open and close it might catch on a couple bricks here and there but it goes there i thought that was really well designed how they put that in there even though it's simple you got a sign on this window piece and a couple of lanterns and more flaps along the top, ramen. You know, it looks very inviting. It looks very typical Japanese style. I like that. And you got the awning on the top, which kind of has like a blue tinge to it. When you walk in the sliding door, I think this has to be one of my favorite looking counters, even though it's kind of small. There are three stickers on this set. Two on the bottles that you see back there, which look totally fine. And they're very easy to put those ones on. And I like that printed window behind him. I just like the look of this. But the two pieces on the front, I think those are sauces, I'm not quite sure, are all prints. And then you got the container here for like your chopsticks or your napkins or whatever goes in there. And what's really cool, is this cup right here, I know they're using like the Technic piece there, but when you put that inside there, it really does look like chopsticks. I'm like, Joe, genius! Either chopsticks or churros. Man, I'm craving a churro now, I'm looking at that thing. So moving along the counter, you got printed spoon and chopsticks and it looks like a bowl of noodles there with some egg on top nice printed piece the same stuff on this side the, the sauces on the front and the chopsticks uh, the extra little ingredients along the back behind it and the menu sign there for the ramen noodles and more little signs hanging along the top 
holding down those fabric pieces. It's nice to come back to this, man. I miss these Japanese themes for sure. I like that. The only thing is the top counter, you might not even be able to tell on the camera. The color felt a little different. Like it was slightly, I, I don't know if it was decolored or intentional to be like a slightly more pinkish look to it than the other brick pieces. But it's minor and you can't really tell. So we shall now work our way to this side here. It's another little side entrance with some flaps there. You walk inside. There is a little staircase for the figure. So yeah, it's not really to figure scale size. I think they were influenced by the Sembo Block sets and they're like, we can do something similar. Because Sembo Block does something like that as well. Sorry, man, Sembo did it first. There's nothing on that side on the front. It's pretty plain. But on the back side, a lot of stuff going on. You got the sink there with more little ingredients. I like the design and look for each kind of like a cabinet down below. At least it's breaking up and it's not the same boring looking thing as you go across. And I like how they use the trans clear pieces especially underneath the stove, which is cool. And I like how they did the stove top. They put the swivel chair pieces at the fire. You have little loose pieces that go in the frying pan, but those will definitely fall out. At the end, they have three bowls, two blacks and one red, and the top two will fall off because they're just sitting there loose, but it's a nice touch. And of course, in the very, very back, it's the, the background again. So you have a choice to take this out and not use it, which looks fine like that, see? Totally okay, you don't have to have that. Or you can go ahead and use this if you want. And I just feel like it's kind of being blocked anyway. So it's not really a requirement. This is just a setting, setting the mood, nighttime mood, right? Looks very quaint, comfortable. Here's a daytime one with a little takeout window there. I kind of like this one. They look so happy there. So I slide this back here and no cloth materials like block it or anything. And go like that. That's really hard to see. See, it's kind of blocked off there. They're like, ah, oh, we can enjoy our time looking through the window. But just like the other one we saw, it's sturdy, it's small, and it's totally secure. You know what was missing is just like the rooftop and walls, but I think it's fine open like this. These are small little sets. And once again, if I were to put this figure here, you can kind of see from that angle, it looks better. But from this side here, it's pretty small for a figure, the scale of the shop itself. Usually you'd just be standing over the counter, right? But I had to put him on some steps. So we'll look at the figure while he's here or she's here, she. She looks good. I like her happy, super happy face. And I noticed the arms when you put them in and the legs when they move, they're very stiff. But at least she's got a nice printed shirt there. She looks very happy. There she is with Kumamon. Kumamon's like, come on, Scotty. Let's go on to the last set. So the last one we're looking at is Kumamon's Sakura Park 880011. I know how much you guys love Sakura branches and tree. Thankfully, this one is not that big and everything is pretty stable. So good, good for them. So here's the box, same exact deal as the other one. You get the picture of the set on the front. You get the picture of the set on the back and the figures to scale. So these three boxes are all the same. And the instruction too. I think it's different for the photo for each one. Oh yeah. Yes. This Kumamon so happy. Cherry Blossom. What's the other one before this? Go buy the set yourself and find out. It's worth it just for the picture. And just a friendly reminder, it is very easy to read. You'll get this thing done in one hour, maybe a little bit more than that. If there's anything to really complain about these, it's like the downside is it's on multiple plates. That's on multiple plates. This one as well. This one's a little bit more insecure. It looks like it will pop off pretty easy. There's not much holding it down. So you do have to be careful for this one because it's more of just an open park area. So it's got a lot less like structure to push down and hold the thing down. But look, it's pretty man. You know, if you don't want to buy all those panels, crazy Chinatown with all those big street scenes or the Ziga ones that we did, this is nice and small. That's what I like about it. And the best part is it is stable until I drop it. I'm sure this thing will fall apart. Now this Kubamon is different. Let's take a look at him. Come on out, bear. Yeah, there he is. He's standing, but he looks like a deer in headlights. He's like, I welcome this kind of style. Oh, I might have to push the arms in a little bit more. Get it in there, snap them in. I didn't snap that one in. There we go, it's much better now. He stands on four studs. Look at that, stretch. Problem with that is, if I have a plate somewhere, yes I do, is, oh, three studs, three studs wide. So he's gonna be blocking a lot of stuff out and he has to be in a flat area. So you gotta give him some extra leeway and some room because he's quite big, but he will fit on a, on a standard stud. That's Lego plate, by the way. 
I'm not saying anything. I'm just showing to you that, yeah, he's compatible to fit on that. And he holds pretty good. Look at him. Go, bear, go. He ain't going nowhere. Just for you, here's one more close-up look of him going, oh, ooh, so pretty. Nice printing. Very clean. Oh, on his butt, he actually does have the copyright logo on there. Interesting. I like his little ears too. And what's interesting is his hand. We didn't talk about his hand, but they're just closed off. So you can just like stick what weapons or pipes straight through there. It should fit just fine. Yeah, I like this bear, man. Back to this. The tree is the most painful part, even though it's really small. There's nothing wrong with it. It's like, oh man, you gotta put all the leaves inside it. I'm not a fan of doing that, but I got it over with and it didn't take long. Nothing compared to the symbol block one. And I like the variation. You got the pagoda, you got a little bridge, you got the walkway entrance here, and you got the tree. So you got like three or four different things going on in one place. A little river running through it. Remember that movie, River Runs Through It? We'll start here on the pagoda side. You got a couple of lanterns and the steps going up into this place. And it's all securely held in there. And I like how the flowers are kind of like dropping all over it. That was a nice touch. And I thought the pagoda would fall apart pretty easy. My experience so far with anything that looks like a temple or pagoda, it's usually a little bit fragile. But this one actually held in pretty good, or it's holding in pretty well. And I like the top piece too. But those pieces, the roof or the shingle parts can pop off easy if you're not careful. They're just held down by studs. They're not like really clipped in or anything. And I like the little little blades on the corner that's, or these angle pieces. I thought that was really neat. And you got a little piece of gold top there for the roof. Then we come over to this side here. What's interesting with the bridge is it's got studs on each end of the bridge so you, you can connect it on there. But one didn't quite fit. Just to show you an example here, if I took this, if I take this off, this piece right here is actually supposed to move in, but unless I placed it wrong, but it felt like, oh, the bridge wasn't quite connecting from end to end with a stud. So I took it off and I just moved it one stud out and you can't tell, but it's covered up underneath. But once I did that, everything just fit totally fine. I was able to like, oh, it fits okay like this now. There, perfect. So minor little thing. You know, maybe I did it wrong. What's cool is the koi fish is printed on those tiles. And I just like this little tiny area and the bridge too. Kumamon can probably fit on it, but you have to raise the branches up a little bit. I like the construction of the bridge, looks fine. Very small and simple. And we come to the side here or the front. We have definitely seen something very similar to this style for all the cherry blossom sets. They have the sign, the entrance to come in. Here's the back. I think it looks really good. Dun, 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 the tree. You can kind of articulate the branches on certain parts and decorate it your own, man. You don't have to follow the book. It looks good like this. It's better than the last tree we just saw. You know, my branch here looks a little bit low. Maybe the lantern is bringing it down. I, th I think it's supposed to go there. Whatever, man. It doesn't matter. But there's a nice little lantern there, the print on it. Very cool. And finally, you got some cherry pink blossom leaves, like kind of spilling all over the set. You can use your spares and your extras and drop them all over to make it even more lively. And there you go, how nice. You got a serene Sakura Park, ramen noodle shop, hot springs. So far, so good. We liking this? I'll get on the other ones as soon as I can. I will. They're absolutely amazing. Shall we measure these up? Yeah, let's measure them up while we're here. So break out your 32 by 32 plates here. I'm too lazy to adjust the camera. Chris is not here. Chris, come back. Come back, man. And I'll just kind of like put it around here. Hopefully you guys can still see it. And that is 24 studs by length by about 14 by width. Now break out your one by four bricks, stack it up. And let's put it here along the back. Can we see that? That is around just maybe under 12 bricks. You know, if you slide it here across, it'll be like, oh, 12 bricks there. Oh, oh yeah, 12 bricks. Small man, you guys can do it. Let's look at the next one. So now for the ramen shop, slap it here. It is roughly 21 studs by length there. And the width is the same. The width is 14 smaller than the other one a little bit now break out your one by four bricks stack it up here and you're looking at about 
10 bricks in height. Small, yo. We need more, bigger. So the last one here is the park. And it is, well, it's curved, so it's not gonna be really perfect, but it's around 26 studs by length. And it, it's almost the same here. It's like 14 studs by width. It's small, guys. You guys can fit this, no problem. Let's check the height. Right there, ooh, that's like almost 15 bricks in height. Maybe a little bit over, just slightly. There, problem solved. Too bad all these guys can't fit on a single plate. It'd be a little bit tight if I were to, you know, put one Kumam on next to the other one. You can put two of them on here. No fit like that. Alex actually pretty cool like that. There's my little park right there. So there you guys go. Kumam on sets. Yes. Buy it now. Available. Bringmeupscotty.com. I'll put the link in the description. I'm all for it. I think these are amazing so far. Can't wait to do the other ones. And you know what? If you don't like the bear, screw the bear, man. Just give them to your friend. Give them to your kids, put your own figures inside. Great. All right, it's time for me to work on the other ones. Well, thank you so much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll be back with more. Until next time, you guys. Break me out. Cool. The sets that you can see in front of me just arrived. I'm like, yo, I gotta build this real quick. Oh, one more time. Did y'all hear that? I think that's Chris coming back. He gained a lot of weight though. Chris, you gotta lose some weight, man.